Hello everyone, I am Assistant Professor Sonali Dhuri. In this part, we will learn about the problem solving aspect. What is mean by problem solving aspect? For what we are using this? Okay, we will learn this in terms of a programming language. Okay, this is our first unit of C programming language. Problem solving aspect. What is the actually the problem? Okay. So problem means a matter or a situation that is unwelcome which needs to be dealt with work. Means see, we are also facing the many problems in the daily life, but we are trying to find out the solution for this. Okay, a problem is an obstacle which makes it difficult to achieve a desired goal. Means suppose I have a uh, exam, but there is a some problem, network issue, or anything, okay, and this is the in, uh, interruption, okay. This thing is a problem for me to achieve my goal, okay. So, problem is an obstacle which makes it difficult to achieve a desired goal, objective, or purpose. It refers to a situation or condition, or I can say the issue that is a unresolved, okay, means there is a problem. Okay, As a, like a problem means, uh, uh, suppose uh, we can take the different examples. Okay, programmers come across variety of situations or problems. Okay, that they need to deal with and overcome. Like a uh, different calculation, searching, sorting, and different algorithms, graph processing, etc. Okay, suppose uh, one teacher wants to calculate the uh, marks of a student. Okay, average mark of a student. So for which, what is the requirement? Okay, the teacher needs a different uh, students' marks. Okay, all subject marks. Then only they can calculate the average. So, if the data is not available, then how to uh, calculate the uh, grade of the student? How to calculate the average for the student? Okay, so there is a problem. The data is not available. Okay, so here we will try to solve the problem. What is the problem solving? Actually, what is problem solving? Problem solving means what? Okay, how to solve this problem? Actually, a process of finding an efficient solution. Problem solving means what? Find out the efficient solution to the given problem. Means the problem solving. Because every problem in the real world needs to be identified and solved. It's necessary to solve the problem. And trying to find a solution to a problem is known as a Problem solving. Okay, try to find out the efficient solution for the problem. Okay, and now it becomes a part of our day-to-day -day activity. Okay, especially when we uh, use the computer for performing the our day-to-day -day activities. At that time, it is very important. Then the steps for the problem solving. Okay, see if there is a problem, we need to analyze it. Okay, there are the different steps uh, for the problem solving. If there is a problem first, understand and analyze it. Means what? Understand why this problem occurs. Okay. And analyze the problem. Try to understand and analyze. Means what? Analyze. Okay. In each and every activity, there is a different phase. So first, analyze problem. Understand the problem. And the phase is known as an analysis. Okay. And the second, second is your design. Design the solution. With appropriate problem solving tools. You can use the different problem solving tools here. The problem solving tools means what? You can use the different tools like a, or you can use the algorithm or you can use the flowchart or pseudo code or you can use the any tool. Okay. Describe the data and algorithm. You can design the, uh, your uh, problem. You can design your program here. Okay. And then next is even implementation. Implementation means what? Implementation of program means what? See, third step is the implementation. Okay, represent the data within programming language. Means coding is important now. Okay, this phase is known as a coding. Here, coding is very important and we will do the code by using the appropriate programming language. See, these steps are uh, important and same for the all the programming language. It's not matter you are using the uh, this or this type of language. These steps are same for each and every programming language. Okay. 
so this is a uh, important step implementation coding with appropriate programming language we uh, we do the programming for the required problem so this is your implementation the next is safety okay says the debug okay first you run your program okay once the coding is completed then you run your program and give the different input and test your program for the different input means you are testing and debug if there is a problem then correct it okay try to uh, cover the, all the errors here only okay and last step is document the solution okay last is document the solution these are the different steps analyze important steps are analyze design implementation testing analyze means understand the problem first then design the problem you can use the different tools to design your problem okay then implementation implement it by using any programming language means the coding stage is here and then testing means is it working properly is it according to the requirement means it is testing next is problem solving tools in that uh, which are the tools see you can use the pseudo code flowchart dfg algorithm uml all these are the different tools you can use the any tools from it we will learn all these tools Separate. Okay. Algorithm. First one is the algorithm. What is algorithm actually? Okay. Algorithm means that see only write the steps in your language. For what? For to solve a specific problem. Means I have a uh, some problem. So write the steps to solve this problem. So the definition of algorithm is an algorithm is a set of steps. What is it? It is a set of steps required to solve a problem. Okay, here what we are doing? Here we will map the set of input data to set of output data. Okay, see like this. Input data maps the set of input data to the output data through the sequence of operation. We will uh, use the sequence of operation here. Okay, an algorithm is a finite sequence of well defined computer implementable instructions. Okay, well defined means there are just some rules to write the algorithm. Computer implementable instruction. So this instruction will be implemented, uh, implementable by computer. Okay. So it's uh, uh, important and typically to solve the class of problems or to perform a computation. Means this algorithm. And here is a different properties for this algorithm. Which are the properties of algorithm? Input. Okay. Input means what? See, when you are writing the algorithm to solve the specific problem. So input is a must there. Okay, and it will be the supplied externally. Then when you have you are taking the input, so output must be there. Result of the program must be there. Okay, so output is a second one property. Then then there is a definiteness. Definiteness means what? Okay. It means that every algorithm should have a definite procedure. Okay, definite procedure to be followed. Okay, means it should not be unambiguous. Means the definiteness. Then the finiteness. Finiteness means what? After the some step, it will terminate. Okay, compulsory. This compulsory to stop some run. Okay, means finiteness. Finite number of steps. Only. Okay, then if we, uh, effectiveness. Effectiveness means what? It means that every algorithm should have a finite number of steps or See, effectiveness means what? See, see, every algorithm has a finite number of steps. We know that in a finiteness. Okay, steps should be clear and ambiguous. We know this from the definiteness. Okay, and effectiveness means written using the basic instruction. Okay, write this instruction, finite instruction, clear instruction means the effectiveness property of the Algorithm. These are the different properties of algorithm. See, here is just one example to write the algorithm. Okay, the algorithm means we are writing the step. Writing the step to calculate the area of circle. We are calculating the area of circle. Okay, so, so start, then read the value of R. Okay, read the value of R. Means if you want the radius, so read the R. Then the set pi equals to 3.14. Set the pi. Pi value to the 3.5, which is the constant to do. Calculate the area by using the formula pi r square. Then display your result 
find and stop. Okay, and you can refer uh, this algorithm to the flowchart. Okay, this is a flowchart. I will explain this all the notations of this flowchart in the next slide. Okay, here we will just focus on the algorithm. Steps of writing a program. Steps of writing program in a rough. Okay, roughly here we are writing, we are listing the steps. Okay. Then how to display the message on a console? Okay, just we can display the message on a console. Okay, this is the, your simple message on a console. We will see this in a next video. Okay, thanks.